Those high temperatures did not stop a charity softball tournament today in Marion. Organizers said they allowed for some extra time between games and spectators had tents and umbrellas for shade. But the athletes still played all afternoon. KCRG TV 9's Molly Swain learned about the cause that brought hundreds to the ballpark. Fifty one teams go, Hannah, in here. with six hundred twenty eight players took part in the fifth annual Maya Strong softball tournament this Saturday and Sunday. When Maya was twelve and diagnosed for the third time with brain cancer, um, she came up to us and said, Mom, can we just take the money that we've had over the years as donations and donate it to kids that need it more than we do? Um, we have good jobs, we have good insurance, and so we were like, Yeah, absolutely, that's a great idea. So that's actually how the Maya Strong Foundation was born. Maya was first diagnosed at just eighteen months. She relapsed at five years old and then again at 12. All in all, in her 17 young years, she's been through about six years of chemotherapy. Um, her tumor is not curable, it's just treatable. So we just kind of take every day, you know, and choose kindness. Kindness and fun. Maya is a cancer survivor, but Sunday, out on the field, she was also just another athlete on the team. I love my teams. All my teams that I've played on have been awesome and amazing. Proceeds from the tournament benefit the Maya Strong Foundation. Last year, the event raised over $17,000. But it's also a show of love for a kid who has faced a lot. It makes me feel awesome that like people care and like want to not only come to this tournament to be competitive, but also to have fun and support this organization. So it's really, it's really awesome. No, make me cry. Uh, so um, this tournament, I just every year it blows me away. And we want the softball players to come here and have a great time playing softball, but also understand the message that you know a lot of people are going through a lot of things sometimes, and you may not know what that is. I couldn't have asked for anything better. In Marion, Molly Swain, KCRG TV9 News.